ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Let's get ready to rumble! Good evening and welcome CCS 8th grade graduates and supportive family and friends. I'm Jen Roth, the CCS 5-8 instructional leader. I'm Stephanie Sumner, the CCS K-4 instructional leader. As the CCS co-principals, we are so honored to be celebrating each one of our graduates as unique and talented individuals, as well as celebrating them as a wonderful group of young adults. During this graduation production, you will hear from teachers and classmates and from us about your accomplishments and celebrations and many good wishes for your future endeavors. Hi, 8th graders, it's Mrs. Filardi and Miss Lubick, your first and second grade teachers. We'd like to share a couple great memories that we have from our time with you. Do you remember hatching chicks in first and second grade? Or ending our two-year journey together with our ferry boat ride? 
These are just a couple of the memories that we have from our time with you. We wish you the best of luck in the future. We're so proud of you. Keep being the great people you are. Bye. Bye. Good luck. Eighth graders, I'm the lucky one who got to have you both in third grade and fifth grade. Thank you for being such an awesome crew. We will miss you here at CCS and I wish you all the best at CVU. Do not be a stranger when you're back in this building. Please come back and say hello. I cannot wait to hear about all your amazing endeavors ahead. Hello, graduating eighth graders. I'm so happy for the opportunity to speak to you today. You're such a special group to me because you were my first class at CCS. You've worked hard to become the students that you are today. You've practiced taking care of yourself and taking care of others. Your kindness and perseverance will take you far. My hope for you as you move on to high school is that you'll embrace the new and look fondly back at your time at CCS. Good luck, everyone. Congratulations, eighth graders. Uh, you've completed your journey through CCS and you're headed off to do amazing things at CVU. I wish you uh, nothing but happiness and success in the next four years and all throughout your lives. And I look forward to hearing about all the amazing things you do. Also, a special shout out to all the kids who at some point uh, maybe shared a few miles with me during cross country. I hope you continue to run throughout the rest of your lives and look forward to following some of you as you run at CVU. Hey, eighth graders, long time no see. I just wanted to say congratulations on your graduation and best wishes for your next adventure. Really wish I could have been there with you this year. I miss you all. Nonetheless, job well done. And here's to your exciting new future and all the happiness that comes with it. Hey, eighth graders. So one of the best things about being a librarian, besides the books, of course, is the fact that I get to watch my students grow as readers, as learners, and as people. And that's pretty awesome. Congratulations. I'm going to share a favorite quote from Jason Reynolds with you because it's really great advice. Dreams don't have timelines, deadlines, and aren't always in straight lines. Jump anyway. Tonight's speeches to be given by your classmates, Hannah and Erin, will highlight your experiences at CCS, including what you've learned. We often look to all of you to best capture your experiences and to bring perspective to what we can do to best make school the place you need and want it to be. As the adults that have watched you grow and succeed over many years, we hope that the words we've shared with you, inspire you to both reflect upon your years at CCS and to look forward to the opportunities before you with excitement and a little bit of nervousness. We want you to know that we are incredibly proud of each of you and we're inspired by what we've learned from you. One thing we admire most in each and every one of you is your individual interests and passions. It's your interests and passions and the confidence with which you pursue your goals that have truly shaped your school experiences thus far and will continue to shape your experiences as you move forward. Hey everyone, what a year it's been. Most of us have been here for years. We've pretty much seen it all all the crazy stuff no one could have ever predicted. Like in second grade, one of the teachers got tuberculosis and we all had to get tested. Sounds familiar, just saying. Or in third and fifth grade, both times Ms. Frazier taught us, she went on maternity leave and we never had a whole year with her. Such a shame, really. Or what about that time a global pandemic happened and we all had to quarantine? We're still feeling the repercussions of that. This whole graduation is remote. We've had some really cool off-campus moments as well. Like in third grade, we went on that really fancy bus to Montreal and we went to the Biodome. We all had to get up really early for that, I remember. Or in fifth and sixth grade, we went to spare time at the end of the year. I know everyone loved that, I certainly did. Or in the beginning of our tenure in Team Omega, we all went to the UVM ropes course. I hope I wasn't the only one too affected by acrophobia to participate in any of the really high stuff. 
We had great teachers along the way who always did the most creative things with us. Like in third grade, we had that huge interactive Colonial America unit where we all role played colonials making our way across the ocean to live in the new land. We all had to pick trades to do. I remember I was the silversmith because I wanted to be rich. And then in fifth grade, eBay, Mr. and Mrs. Fraser's cheaper knockoff of eBay, where we all tried to sell our classmates crappy things no one ever needed. Oh, unless you made baked goods, those always sold well. I'd say fourth grade was the weirdest year. <laughs> Nothing happened. When crazy things happen so often that normal years start to look strange, you know you had a good time. And we did have a good time here. From nap times in kindergarten when all we had to do was sleep, to throwing cheese sticks at Mr. Lounsbury in 8th grade because we didn't want to eat them, we've always been beautifully chaotic. CVU has no idea what's coming. We've had a lot of wholesome moments across our years here. From carnation ceremonies in kindergarten, to being tricked to eat that dead bread in 7th grade. Thank you Spanish kids, us French students loved it. I'm being sarcastic here. We've always enjoyed every minute of our time spent in each other's company. Oh, unless we're all masks off and within six feet. I don't want to get sick, please. We had a good run. From the moment we first walked in those doors to now, we always knew the end was coming. Tonight we leave, and we never come back. For some of us, that's a happy thought. For others, it's sad. As for me, I find it bittersweet. I'll miss the people I met and the friends I made. But I'm also looking forward to high school, which I've heard so many good things about. Besides, who knows, maybe I'll see you again, maybe I won't. The future holds a promise of happiness for those who wish to seek that. I said that, just now. As Alistair Moody says, end of story, goodbye, the end. Any questions? Too bad, I'm not taking questions, because we're graduating and we're gone forever. Thank you. Hello, my name is Hannah, for those who don't know, although I'm sure most of you have gotten to know me pretty well over the last six years. I know that I've had a lot of fun getting to know all of you. It's crazy that we're already here at the end of eighth grade. These past one and a half years have been nothing like any of us have imagined. Although we didn't get to experience a normal last year at CCS, there are still so many memories that have been made. Like Mr. L's class trying to secede from the school, running through the snow during P.E. in the winter, also playing millions of Scribble.io games, and remember being only two days a week? That wasn't that long ago. Aside from the memories from school during the pandemic, there are so many others from years past that we will cherish, like A.B.A. in 5th grade, student versus teacher volleyball and basketball games, school-wide assemblies, school-wide hide-and-seek, composting in sixth grade, exploratories, does anyone else remember that? And that field trip to the church when the oil leaked. Also, does anyone remember the fish tank in the lobby? That was the first thing I noticed when I came and visited CCS years ago. That is pretty off topic, but I'm being kind of sentimental. I've been counting down the weeks and days for a couple months now, and as we've gotten closer to leaving CCS, it starts to register more. Walking through the hallways recently, I've been taking the time to look around and soak in some details before we won't be here next year. After going to CVU on Monday, it really made me realize how much I will miss just being in the building. We've walked these halls so many times, some of us for as many as 10 years. We've seen some new renovations, plenty of new students, as well as new teachers who we couldn't have made it through elementary and middle school without, and who we'll never forget. I'm sure we can all agree that walking into science classes next year without Mr. L, or French without Madame Pearson, or, or humanities without Lutz will just be weird. We are so lucky to have had teachers who have cared about us so much and who have brought the classroom to life. I'd mention everyone that has helped us along the way, but that would take a long time. 
While going from a tiny school that most of us have been at for so long to CVU is a big jump, it's nothing any of us can't handle. I've been at multiple different schools, and each time it's been a little challenging to find my footing with new classmates, teachers, and building. But after a little while, you become a part of a community. This is the first time since preschool that I have had to leave a school because I have aged out. I am so happy that I got to move through CCS with all of you. You are an amazing group of people, and I know that you are all ready for high school. I will miss being in classes with all of you and all the field trips and fun times, but I am excited to see what the future has in store for us. After last Tuesday when we got our 5th grade letters to ourselves, it's obvious that we have come so far. Well, sort of. We still throw cheese sticks at our teachers, ahem, Mr. Lonsberry, and most of us still scream to go outside at any moment, competitively play Foursquare, as well as come up with the ideas to create our own country in the classroom. While I can never walk back into the building again as a student, I will definitely be back to visit. I cannot thank all the teachers, staff, students, and faculty enough for making my CCS experience amazing. You've all helped me to become who I am today. Thank you. And now we're going to begin our award ceremony. The CBSD mission is to develop citizens who think critically and creatively, live responsibly and respectfully, learn actively and collaboratively, contribute positively to their community, and pursue excellence. This year we honor students for their strengths with these transferable skills. Students chosen have demonstrated the ability with these skills across settings, humanities, math, science, essential arts, and even our advisory time. I am pleased to present this year's award for self-direction. This award is awarded to students who we've seen take charge of their learning. They've taken the initiative by setting goals, taking risks, seeking out opportunities to pursue that learning, and persevering when challenged. This year's award recipients are Carly Strobeck, and Charlie Buckwald. I'm pleased to announce the award for creative and practical problem solving. These students' independent thinking led them down their own paths. They experimented with possibilities using determination and imagination to generate possible solutions. It was always amazing to see what new way they found to reach their target. This year's award recipients are Miles Burgesson and Alden Luft. Hi everyone, I'm gonna be talking about the Growth and Perseverance Award for this eighth grade class. The Growth and Perseverance or GRIT Award is given to three students who have shown the commitment to self-improvement both academically and personally throughout this school year. It is my pleasure to award this year's GRIT Award to Abigail St. George, Shana Mester, and Matthew Wallace. Congratulations. Responsible and Involved Citizenship Award. These students collaborate effectively and respectfully with peers, which enhances the learning for all. These students demonstrate respect for differing cultures, values, and points of view. They are committed to the community and well-being of all students. Congratulations, Olivia Santos and Whitley Pigeon. Good evening. The Clear and Effective Communication Award is presented to two students who, through their writing, use of technology, and public speaking, deliver messages that are organized, thoughtful, and considerate of both purpose and audience. I'm honored to present this award to Hadley Oster and George Taylor.
congratulations. I have the pleasure of presenting the award for informed and integrative thinking. These students effectively use evidence and reasoning to support their thinking across different content areas. They are keen to recognize relationships and to explore interconnected concepts. The recipients of this year's Integrative Thinking Award go to Elizabeth Nostrand, Julian Sicott, and Henry Bushy. The Charlotte Humanitarian Award. This award celebrates an eighth grade student who demonstrates personal attitudes that enhance the climate of our school with a true generosity of spirit. This student shows compassion towards others, is caring, helpful, shows concern for peers, adults, property, and the environment, and demonstrates qualities of positive leadership and thoughts and actions, and sets an example of appropriate and positive behavior. On behalf of the Omega team, I'm pleased to announce that this year's recipient is Hannah Stein. The Nancy Butler Citizenship Award was established a number of years ago in Nancy's memory. The criteria for this award are academic success, respect for classmates and adults, social growth and maturity, improvement through self-effort, acceptance of responsibility. The students who receive this award are to have their names engraved on the Nancy Butler plaque. It is an honor and a pleasure to present this award to two students, Ajak Dow and Libby Manning. Congratulations to you both. The Jeanette Lewis Creative Writing Award was established to honor the memory of a Charlotte Central School student. Jeanette Lewis loved to write, and she pursued her talent both in and out of school. Through this award, we acknowledge a CCS student who's demonstrated this love for writing. This year's Jeanette Lewis Creative Writing Award goes to Aaron Caldwell. Congratulations, Aaron. The Florence Horsford Good Neighbor Award. The purpose of this award is to honor a graduating 8th grader for being a good neighbor to the entire CCS community. This award recognizes one student who is seen by staff and peers as extremely helpful and friendly all the time. This is the kind of person who volunteers for less than glamorous jobs just because they need to get done, not because they want extra credit or want to get out of class. And so on behalf of the entire Omega team, it's our honor to recognize Holden DC as this year's Florence Horse for a Good Neighbor. I hope you'll join me in another round of applause for all of our awardees and for the class of 2021 from Charlotte Central School. Congratulations, everyone. As you are about to launch into a new stage of your life, you're taking skills and experiences forward that are more diverse than any of the previous graduates we've worked with, particularly because of the unique challenges and successes of this past year. Individually and together, you have built skill sets that include incredible flexibility in your learning, the ability to manage twists and turns with patience and perseverance, learning in a variety of settings, and finding opportunities within the most challenging of situations. Graduation is a great time to reflect on yourself as a learner. This is not only important for the content, but the transferable skills that you will carry into adulthood. You've become problem solvers. You've learned to think critically and to communicate effectively. You've had opportunities for social emotional learning as you've acquired skills, attitude, and processes to manage your emotions and to strengthen your relationships. In so many ways this year, and in the years leading up to this evening, you've leveraged your ongoing learning of taking care of yourself, others, and this place to become the community of learners that you are now. Typically at this point in our ceremony, we begin to hand out diplomas to our graduates. 
We would now like to announce all of our individual graduates and celebrate their accomplishments spanning nine years here. Hadley Millicent Oster. I make bad decisions frequently. They're fun. Maddie Bergeron. Has anyone tried putting 2020 in rice? Miles Cooper Bergeson. You'll never walk alone. Charles J. Buckwald. Do the roar. Henry J. Bushy. As I grew up, I knew that as the building Fenway Park was on the level of Mount Olympus, Pyramid at Giza, the nation's capital, the Tsar's Winter Palace, and the Louvre, except that it's better than all those inconsequential places. Ryan Byrne. When mankind falls into conflict with nature, monsters are born. Aaron Marie Caldwell. Draco Dormy and Unquamit Titalanda, or Never Tickle a Sleeping Dragon. George David Charlson. If you fish long enough, you'll catch a fish, and if you give that fish to a man, he will eat it. Silas Franklin Cohen. Silas Cohen? Joaquin Coart. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Alex Cummings. I know what we're gonna do today. A Jacques Dow. The bigger your goal, the early you have to wake up. Holden, D.C. Everybody stay positive no matter how negative life gets. Thomas Cole Eggleston. Hey, where's Perry? Ronan Patrick Evans. I guess every once in a while both sunshine on a womp rat's tail. <laughs> Liza Flory. Car rien n'est gratuit dans la vie. Dylan Crow Frere. I am loving. Ray Hagios. 
I think I'm gonna go stare at a wall for a while and rethink everything. Will Kalik. Ah, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is a gift. That is why it's called the present. Ruby Cone No person is an island. McKenna Leggett If we cease to believe in love, then why would we want to live? Holly E. Lyon Matthew Shelton Lawless A dog can express more with his tail in minutes than his owner can express with his tongue in hours. Alden Luft I have never let my schooling interfere with my education. Lander W. Magoon The mullet is more than a haircut, it's a lifestyle. Business in the front, party in the back. Elizabeth Manning the way I look at it is, who remembers 85 point bull rides? JB Money. Zane Armstrong Martinez. If you're afraid, don't do it. If you're doing it, don't be afraid. Anderson H. McEnany Live, laugh, love Gabriel Merrill Just because some wet bink threw a scimitar at you now you're king Dana Mester. It's the best thing to do first thing in the morning is to go right back to sleep. Elizabeth Grace Nostrand. We did it! We did it, Joe! Whitley Jean Pigeon If I had to live my life again, I'd make the same mistakes, only sooner. Abby Elizabeth Pickcabbage I'm nice at ping pong. Jonathan C. Postalway. Are you going to eat that croissant? Aiden Reynolds. A lot of people are afraid of heights. Not me, I'm afraid of widths. Olivia Santos If your dreams don't scare you, they aren't big enough. Peyton Rose Shaddy I finally learned how to write good.
Julian Seacott. SWAT team, said my friends as they proceeded to carry me and throw me out of the gym. Kate Charlotte Silverman. We can't be lost, we don't know where we're going. Hannah Agnes Stein. Long live all the magic we made. Taylor Swift. Abigail Taylor St. George. 13 year olds are the meanest people in the world. They terrify me to this day because 8th graders will make fun of you but in an accurate way. They will get to the thing that you don't like about you. Carlin Strobeck. Life is short, like me. Vega Terriol. When they say whatever you say may be used against you, they mean it. Gabriel Taylor. Think a little less, live a little more. <laughs> George Campbell Taylor. 13 year olds are the meanest people in the world. They terrify me to this day because 8th graders will make fun of you but in an accurate way. They will get to the thing that you don't like about you. Maria Yelena Thurber If we cease to believe in love, then why would we want to live? Daniel Aquila Tukuri There's no such thing as bad student, only bad teacher, Mr. Miyagi. Charlotte Avery Zeiter. Whoever loves much, performs much, and can accomplish much, and what is done in love is done well. You are about to move on to high school, where much of your learning will ask you to continue to explore and share your talents and passions and to be open to new pursuits and adventures. We're going to miss you as groups, as individuals. Because of what you have shown us, we have no doubt that you are prepared to successfully continue on this journey. We are excited to see what the future holds for each of you, and especially to see what each of you will bring to our future. You got your mama's sunshine, you got your daddy's rain You're like a piece of heaven in a hurricane And it's bubbling over like a sweet champagne You got your mama's sunshine, you got your daddy's rain All day long, right or wrong, you question everything why the grass is green Can I stay up late And why do the bluebirds sing Sometimes you cry your big blue eyes For no discernible reason Your point of view It comes and goes Like the changing of the seasons You got your mama's sunshine You got your daddy's rain You're like a piece of heaven In a hurricane and it's bubbling over like a sweet champagne You got your mama's sunshine You got your daddy's rain You act just like your father Yeah, you laugh at 
to your own jokes You're pleased with your opinions Girl, you want the world to know We don't need no Mona Lisa Don't need Dolly or Chagall You're like a miniature Picasso With your markers on the wall You got your mama's sunshine You got your daddy's rain You're like a piece of heaven In a hurricane Bubbling over like sweet champagne. You got your mama's sunshine. You got your daddy's rain. Got a leaf on every single branch of our family tree. When you're all grown up, no longer a pup, and going out to the great unknown, you'll find that little piece of you that you can call your own. You got your mama's sunshine, you got your daddy's rain, you're like a piece of heaven in a hurricane. Your mama's sunshine. You got your daddy's ring. You got your mama's sunshine. You got your daddy's ring. Still stuck in this house with a mind full of doubts Tired of staring out the window Eating too much, drinking too much Tired of watching the grass grow Channel 2, Channel 3, back to Channel 2 I watched everything in my queue So put me on a train, I don't care where it's going Fly me on a plane, maybe out to Wyoming Need an RV, no plans, just you and me I need to go somewhere Still watching the rain, kids driving me insane Another Groundhog Day routine Stuck in my head, existential dread What in the world does it mean? Month two, month four, can't take it anymore I got to get my feet out the door So put me on a train, I don't care where it's going Fly me on a plane, maybe out to Wyoming Need an RV, no plans, just you and me I need to go somewhere I need to go somewhere Pain. Swim like a mermaid, nearly all the way to Spain. Listen, Karen, I'll even ride on my rollerblades. I need to go somewhere. I need to go somewhere. I need to go somewhere. Congratulations. 